G'day and welcome to part 20 of my flying Viking camping adventure. So just leaving my auntie and uncle's place as I was loading my bike. Bloody thing fell off its side stand, landed on some of their push bikes. Luckily nothing was damaged but that really sucked. Don't trust this bloody bike on its side stand at all. Now I'm heading down to the Victorian Alps, right? I've had a tip from a local pilot that the weather should be good, so let's get down there and get in the air. So here we go. Stop at the servo to fuel up, but this bike hates flat surfaces, and I've had too many problems with it falling over despite all the bods. This is how much I don't trust this bike. <laughs> There's no way she's falling over on me this time. I've been coming across quite a few people now that are watching this series. So their people are commenting on it, they see the bike, they see the ladder, go, oh, you're that guy on YouTube. So that's uh, kind of exciting. I'm excited about coming to fly bright, but I'm also quite intimidated. As you can see, this is complex terrain. There's not many places to land here, and I know there's a lot of, there's only a few designated landing places and a lot of places that you can't land. Um, it's complicated high country, which means complicated air currents. Yeah, so this is next level difficult. Like most paragliding places, uh, the best thing to do is just rock up at the bomb out and see if anyone's there, find a local pilot, and then go from there. Well, reached the bomb out. Someone flying up there. Hopefully they'll get a ride up the hill. So this is the official bomb out for Bright. The launch is actually that mountain in the distance. Well, someone's flying. How you going? Hey, Alex. <laughs> oh, if I knew you would video me, I'm going to land on that thing. That was a good landing. What are you talking about? No, because it was the water. I worry I stay on that when it's slippery. Oh, come here, come here. I <laughs> know, oh, no hard. Oh, you're a cold oh, thing. No <laughs> How are you? Good. <sighs> Yeah. Tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, I couldn't launch. One, one kilometre an hour, two kilometre an hour. How you going, fellas? Oh, oh, yeah, good. Go. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Need a front wind, not a back wind. <laughs> um, just only a little bit. Yeah, it's too much for me. Too much? I'm not going to go with the back wind. Oh, I can run it. Not experienced enough. Oh, yeah, maybe you're not. Not familiar enough with mountains. Yeah. 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 But I, I can't take off. Hey, you're a weapon. No, no, I mean, I'm so used to it. It's a little yeah. Bit, but all you have to do is forward launch and run fast. It's fine. I'm not used to it. So. Yeah, don't do it. Maybe tomorrow morning you come. You see if people do it, then you know. <laughs> My mate went into the trees there trying to do that. Keith. <laughs> you kidding me? Nope. Uh, yeah? Yep. What? Yep. Really? Yep. Oh. I've got lots of mates that are good at crashing. <laughs> okay. In, in Bright? Yep. Don't say that. Uh, must have been too much of a backwind. Maybe too much. Like this, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. What's that? Thermal. Well, I've been convinced that I can do a okay. board launch with a backwind. Never done anything like that before. Goes against everything I've been taught. Um, supposed to launch into the wind, not against it. Wind over the back creates rotor, but they tell me that it's going to be very mild if existent at all so well let's see how we go they're still moving prove whether like you're, you're launching nice and straight sure. yeah <laughs> wait for them to stop moving the little flags launching I survived my first ever backwind board launch and like they said the rotor wasn't bad at all now I've got to try and find some lift isn't this place absolutely gorgeous might be a bit close to those trees I think I need to figure eight now I'm out of lift this is too small for me to figure eight in So light. <sighs> Trying. Trying to sink a small, 
well, too small for me to work. See if there's anything coming off the peak of that tree line in front of me. Well, there is something there, but it's really small. I want to follow this tree line, just see if there are any thermals popping off along here. Ah, here we go. Caught a little thermal. Let's explore it, see what's going on. Wee the sweet music of a beeping vario. I'm getting better at this. Hey, I'm higher than one of the pot boys. That's always something to make you feel good. It's freaking pot boys. Well, this is a different experience. I'm the guy climbing up to base and everyone else is buddy down there. What the hell? 